Hello, welcome to the beach. We're out here gathering on the sand dunes, about three kilometers north of Joppa. There's sand as far as the eye can see. So, if you're here gathering with a, oh God. I hate so you guys Just so doing much. It. Go. Hello, welcome to the beach. We're out here today gathering on the sand dunes, about three kilometers north of Joppa. There's sand as far as the eye can see. If you're joining us today for the long-awaited shell lottery, don't forget your sunblock. It's a warm day out on the coast of the Mediterranean, but we'll save that for the upcoming weather report. All right, it's the second day of Passover, April 11th, 1909, the afternoon. It's blossoming springtime, and it's not jellyfish season yet, so don't forget to bring along your swimsuit. Why are we here today? Well, today's event has a rich history. Since about the late 1890s, about 1,500 Jews have already settled in this area of Eretz Yisrael. Many of the Jews have settled in the city of Jaffa, yet they've always yearned for a place of their own. Since then, Jews from the Arab city of Jaffa banded together in hopes of creating a Jewish garden suburb on the outskirts of town. By 1906, only three years ago, the dream of the Jewish suburb became a reality, known as the Ahuzat Bayit Association. The name means homestead, which is exactly what they were in search of. Next, the association is set to purchase 12 acres of land from the Bedouins. But how are they going to distribute the land equally? Let's find out. 